faces. Oh, he looked. He liked my snorkel. What's going on guys? Today we are back in the beautiful, beautiful province of Alberta. Where the sun is always shining. Just kidding, like it's been, it's been gnarly, so. So it's been storming for about four days. Uh, tornadoes, baseball hail, cars being written off. Things are great. So far, we've avoided most of it here. Uh, everyone south of us has been nailed. Pretty funny. It sucks, so. Anyway, if you're looking to buy a car, now would be the time to buy one in Southern Alberta because they're cheap, cars are cheap. So today, to help with all this flooding, finally, I'm out and about and I get a message saying someone delivered a leg to my front door. What the f does that mean? A little bit of backstory, we did actually have a serial killer here that killed people, chopped them into bits, and mailed their body parts. Probably somewhere in that sentence, frowned upon to put it on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. But we're gonna do it, so anyway, keeping that in mind. Pretty sure I know what it is. Pretty sure it's for the Jeep. It's gonna help with all the flooding. You get what I'm saying. So now for my Jeep that has about a six inch lift, 35 inch tires, we are getting a snorkel and it's been in the mail for three and a half months. Didn't think I was actually ever gonna get it. Like I ordered this before we got shut down for COVID, which is also another thing you can't say on any social media, which is, figure that one out. So I've been waiting for a long time. So we got this. Hopefully we got some other things. That'll be our spring transformation. I gotta do some repainting on it and then we're good to go. So let's get home. It's supposed to rain pretty much for the next week straight. So let's start throwing parts on our good old fashioned army Jeep. You are gonna make it buddy. Buddy's struggling across the road. I'm rooting for him. Anyway, catch you back at home. All right guys, so we're back home. Did a little bit of an unboxing. Had to do it off. Whoa! Had to do it off camera to make sure it was not a leg. In fact, also ripped my thumb open, so we're off to a good start. So, it's everything that's in the snorkel kit. So, these two pieces are going to go for the air box on the inside, hardware bag, snorkel itself, and terrible cutout thing that really doesn't line up well. So, cross our fingers here. So, as far as the snorkel, snorkel, snor yeah. so for the snorkel hardware, we're going to have these studs that we're going to thread in. And then we're going to use fender washers and uh, nylock nuts on the inside of the fender. That's going to secure it. I believe you could just barely use a three inch hole, but we're going to go three and a half. Once again, we have no instructions, so kind of crossing our fingers here. And then we got a couple bolts up here for the uh, upper support brackets and clamps and other goodies. So it's everything we're going to need, I guess. Now, today's already going off to be a terrible day. This cutout really doesn't line up very well. I've hurt myself many times and we have no tape hence the electrical tape so so the success rate of this so far not looking terribly fantastic but when does it ever it did stop raining and now it's getting sunny now it's super humid so uh we're gonna try there's some gnarly clouds coming again so we're gonna try and get this filmed before it starts raining at least get the snorkel mounted so uh, I'm gonna go get a drill, figure out what size is, start popping some holes in the fender, and there's no going back. So, if you have a really nice looking Jeep, this would be nerve wracking. I don't, still pretty nerve wracking. Got our little template, worst template in the world. Doesn't line up at all, so at this point, we're just winging it. We do have everything marked out in our Sharpie here, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, point in our turn. So on the end of the snorkel here, I would recommend a three and a half inch uh, hole saw blade hole saw. Uh, you can get away with a three inch. I have a three and a quarter, so I just have to hope that these are more or less lined up. So at this point, we're gonna drill some pilot holes and then one giant three and a quarter inch hole and hope everything lines up. So cross your fingers, hopefully. As it turns out I'm very nervous at this point, I'll be honest.
So we went ahead, we threw the upper support bracket here on the pillar. Now I know a lot of people will actually tuck it under this weather stripping and bend it, but didn't want to deal with that today. This is strong enough and if I need to patch holes, I'm good at that. I can just weld it up, repaint it, so not too concerned. Can't see if it's focused or not because it's bloody bright out, but I did put some sealant on these just to prevent any water from running down this upper pillar here, so will I do anything? I don't know. I gotta clean these two off here, I just did. So at this point we have the upper mount, we have the holes here drilled, we have a giant hole drilled. Throw it in, start buttoning it up, get it in place, and then we can start with our airbox mod. So uh, go ahead, three guys on a tripod, start tightening things up. Like we got some storms rolling in. So progress made, snorkel mounted. Snorkel hat thing mounted. So once again, we made sure we riveted this bracket in. Uh, we just did the factory way where it sits on this pillar. Uh, made sure to use some silicone. Deburred all the holes we drilled and then uh, painted those so those shouldn't rust. They will, but they shouldn't. So now we move on into the engine bay. We have to go ahead and remove pretty much everything here. The air box, uh, upper lid is the word. Top lid, filter, and then the bottom half. So uh, go ahead and rip this out now and then we gotta start doing some modifications. Yeah. And then we have a hole we have to drill down there somewhere, connect a pipe, and we should be done. So we're getting there, let's get to her. She looks beautiful. Let's make it happen. Guys, we've been busy, so just chop this chunk off, which usually sits like that, I believe. Now, usually when you cut this off, it is helpful to keep about a half inch or something to help align to help align this piece and keep it centered. However, on my Comanche, it has this vacuum chamber for the cold starts. So, uh, not super easy to do that. So instead, we cut that off flush. Just used a hacksaw. And we did have to rip off these top two chunks on either side of this corner here. That just allows this to sit flush. And then uh, at that point, I went ahead and I filed down all the edges, kind of deburred all the plastic. I got a little bit to do there apparently. And then I went with some 80 grit, yeah, 80 grit sandpaper around the edges here. Uh, when we do rivet this on, I am going to use a sealant. So I'm going to throw some silicone or a gasket maker around the edge here, all the way around the side. And uh, that way we're going to get a nice tight seal. Now this probably isn't permanent because we are perhaps doing... That was the worst, most dramatic reveal in the world. Now let's swap. So, air box. Focus. So the air box may or may not be permanent. Chances are we're gonna go from a tube straight from the intake manifold to the snorkel when we do the V8 swap. But for now, since we don't know when that's gonna happen, just gonna start sanding this. 
try and get as good of a seal as possible. I did only have five rivets, so I'm going to do two, one, and two. I'm going to see if there's something I can do for the bottom, but uh, eh, probably not. That's probably good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some more filing. Then we're going to throw a ton of goop on, rivet that piece on, drill a hole in the chassis of the Jeep, stick a tube through, and we're done. So we're getting there. Good opportunity to clean this out, and I think I have a filter somewhere I might replace, but we'll see what happens. So, throw some rivets in, throw this in the Jeep, snorkel. So, she looks beautiful, spoiler alert, let's get going. So we got everything riveted on, packed her full of sealant. It's nice and tight. Rivets on the inside, we'll just kind of clean that up a bit. Boom, airbox modified. And I'm looking past the camera and it looks terrible outside. So we may or may not have missed our chance to film outside, so I'm not gonna stop because we're so close. Chances are it's gonna flood anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead Jump out there, drill that hole for the airbox. I'm not gonna risk my brand new camera. So I'll leave you inside, but uh, I gotta go drill that hole. That's pretty much our last step. Reassemble our airbox and then put that tube in. And we're pretty close, so hop out there, try and do this before it downpours, and then I'll update you guys if I have a chance. Shocking, it's raining. So, not using a good camera, but uh, got her in. Drill the hole straight down. You can see her sticking out here. Now there are, other, there are other ways that people route this where they'll make it come out the side here or something else that's clever. Kind of not ideal to have a tube come out, turn, come up and around because tire clearance, so not recommended. That sounds terrible. Not recommended, but it's how the kit is, what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take our cute little tube here, throw a hose clamp onto that, run it up and inside the fender. And on the inside of the snorkel, right there, hose clamp number two. So we'll go ahead and throw this in quick. Hey! Hey, gooses! Oh, he looked. You like my snorkel? Hey, gooses! You like my snorkel? Is that one working its ass or is it hurt? Alright, well, we leave the gooses alone, they'll leave us alone. Heads up, buddies, it's gonna storm! Yeah, it's gonna storm! Alright, anyway, cheap things. Let's go test her. Woo! Well, guys, we just finished up, we got it on, and it looks beautiful. So, it's gonna be my first time actually taking a look from it standing back. Not working on it. Yep, those are the words. So, Let's see if I've ruined it. It's already dirty, right on. Oh, damn. Oh, that looks good. It's not bad. Oh man, I'm happy. So about $150 Canadian. <laughs> Took damn near four months to get here, but I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. So, beautiful weather. As always, wind's coming in. Snorkel, Jeep Comanche. It's missing something right about there, I'd say. This next episode, we do the roll bar, possibly some roof lights. So, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Tornado number three today. Let's see how this goes. Get